Hello friends, welcome back to Easy to Learn Tech and thank you for watching all my previous video. If you are watching my video first time, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And in today's video, we are going to talk about LG air conditioning error codes and solution. When we see the error codes appears on the LG AC remote control or the LG AC lead panel, at that time the unit says there is some problem in the unit. The error codes that is display will tell you the issue or the problem that occurring with the AC. Knowing what the error code means or its definition will help you to understand and troubleshoot the exact part that need to be fixed, repair, clean or replaced. See the video till the last to get all the information of the error code of LG air conditioning. Without wasting our time, let's start our video and see all the error codes and easiest way how we can do the troubleshooting for our air conditioning. When you see error C1 or CH1, it means indoor temperature sensor faulty. First of all, you have to check your indoor sensor which is just attached out in front of our coil with a black wire and black insulation that is called indoor temperature sensor. When you find this error, you have to check the indoor sensor resistance if it is perfect or not. If the indoor resistance is not perfect, then you have to change the sensor and if the resistance is perfect and you are getting the proper resistance and again if it is showing the same error then you have to change the indoor PCB and your unit will be in working condition. Let's check the next error code C2 or CH2. When you get a error display in your outdoor unit it means outdoor temperature sensor faulty. This sample sensor is installed just backside of our condenser coil. First you have to check the placement. If the placement is good, then you have to check the resistance of the sensor and if the resistance is also good, then you have to check the PCB and if the power, if the out power of the sensor is coming from the PCB or not. If the out power is not coming, then you have to change the PCB and if the resistance of your sensor is not perfect, then you have to change the sensor, your unit will be working. Let's see the next error code and its solution. Next error code if you get C4 or CH4 in your outdoor unit, it means heat sink temperature sensor. Heat sink we found just below the PCB. The work of heat sink is to observe the heat produced by the PCB. In that we have one sensor. If the sensor is faulty, that time it will show this error. First of all, you have to check the resistance of your sensor. If the resistance is perfect, it means your sensor is good. If the resistance is not perfect, it means your heat sink temperature sensor is faulty and if you are getting the resistance properly and again you are getting the same problem then you have to check the out of your PCB if it is perfectly connected or loose connected or well placed or not and again if you are putting on again if you are getting the same error then you have to check the PCB and if the out of our sensor is not coming then you have to change the PCB your unit will be in working condition. Let's see the next error code and its solution. If you get in your display C5 or CH5, it means communication fault between indoor and outdoor unit. First of all, you have to check the cable between the indoor and outdoor. The communication cable should be perfectly connected in indoor as well as in outdoor. If it is perfectly connected and again if you are getting the same error, then you have to check the power out of our communication cable coming from our PCB. If it is between 13 to 24 volt, it means our indoor PCB is ok. If the voltage is not coming from the indoor PCB, it means indoor PCB is faulty, you need to change the indoor PCB. And if the power is coming and again you are getting the same error, then you have to change the outdoor PCB and your unit will be in working condition. Let's see the next error code and its solution. When you will get it in your display C6 or CS6, it means overcurrent for our inverter power circuit board. In our outdoor PCB, if we get the PCB get overcurrent, that time it will show the error C6 or CS6. At that time, you have to check the in supply of our power cable if the in supply is coming perfectly or not because sometimes due to the electricity fluctuation we get overcurrent due to that it can burn the PCB. If you get this error just change the outdoor PCB and your unit will be in working condition. When you see error C7 or CA7 it means compressor overcurrent. First of all you have to check the compressor if the compressor is overheat or not. If your compressor is overheat then you have to cool the compressor and again you have to start the unit and if it's work it means the problem was due to the overheat of our compressor and you have to check the filter of your indoor and as well as you have to check the condenser if they are 
clear or not if it is not clear do the servicing and again you will not get this error again if you are doing this and you are getting this error it means the compressor itself is faulty you have to check the continuity of your resistance and you have to check the ground of your compressor let's see the next error code when you see c8 or ch8 it means indoor fan voucher error first of all you have to rotate your blower with your hand to check if your blower is stuck somewhere or not if it is not stuck then you have to follow the next process then you have to check the out supply of your indoor pcb and if you are getting the out supply properly it means your out your fan motor is faulty and if when you can check the resistance of your fan motor and if the fan motor resistance is okay that means indoor pcb is faulty then you have to change the indoor pcb or fan motor then your unit will be in working condition let's see the next error code when you see the error c9 or ch9 it means auto fan motor error this is the error which is similar to c88 of our indoor fan motor error you have to follow the same process of c88 and you can solve this issue and your unit will be in working condition let's see the next error code c10 or ch10 it means discharge thermostat error this sensor we can found in our auto unit just installed near the discharge pipe of our auto unit first of all you have to check the placement of this sensor if the placement is not good place it in a proper place and if the placement is good then you have to check the resistance of your thermostat if the resistance is not good then you have to change the sensor if the resistance is good and again if it is showing the same error then you have to check your pcb and if your pcb is faulty you need to replace the pcb your unit will be in working condition let's see the next error code when you will see ch c2 it means coil sensor error first of all you have to check the resistance of your coil sensor and the resistance should be perfect according to the manual and if the placement of your sensor is not perfectly done you have to place it in perfect place because sometime during that maintenance or servicing the sensor get displaced from the area you have to place it in a proper place and again if it is not working then you have to check the pcb and you have to change the pcb and your unit will be in working condition let's see the next error code when you will see the error cc it means outdoor apram error at that time first of all you have to check the pcb if the pcb is get burned due to the electricity fluctuation or by any other causes if your pcb is not burned then you have to put a new apram and you have to start the unit and if the error doesn't occur again it means it was the fault of the apram you can get this apram from the company and you can install the apram and you can start the unit it will be working if it doesn't work then you have to change the outdoor pcb your unit will be in working condition